Parents of Reddit, what is something your child has done that made you think, I don't approve of that, but damn, that was really clever? I had one of these. But for myself. Was in middle school. Was supposed to demonstrate a chemical reaction that caused heat. Most kids do the baking soda and vinegar volcanoes. I made thermite instead. In high school. Was supposed to do something or another with mild acid. So I made acetic acid. My two year old stepdaughter has figured out how to get what she wants. If I don't give in. She will go to her dad WGO has discovered after I sat down with him it's causing a lot of issues with our Teo children as the twins are learning off of their sister. Well we started tough love this month. Only to have it blown out as my partner's sister will give her what she wants straight away and she blatantly ignores what me or my partner say. It grinds my gears shockingly to the point rat I will now take the twins out of a situation involving learning to do that. I was babysitting my niece one time. And she was being potty trained at the time. She was at the pretty much fully potty trained but wears a pull up to bed and nap time just in case stage. I put her down for a nap and she knew she wasn't supposed to go in her pull up. She peed herself to get out of nap time. The young pup was upset about something so he accessed my computer and changed the router port from 2 to 4. Took me a week to figure out why I had no internet. And I locked my computer with a password. I'm not a parent. But I did this when I was about 9. In the 4th grade. My school wanted to help us prepare for middle school so they decided to start sending us to different teachers for math. What they'd do is we would do a pretest for every unit. The pretest would not count as a grade. And however well you knew the material. You were sent to a specific teacher with other kids who were at the same level as you. What I would do was purposefully fail those tests. So I would be stuck in a remedial math class. Therefore I would be getting really high math grades because I already knew the material they were teaching. Five years ago my four old brother Riley. My dad. My mum. I'm Ozzy, and me went to the shopping center. We went to Target and while my mum was looking for some things dad took me and my brother to look at toys. After that, we went to the food court and just as we got a table Riley took his backpack off and poured out about a dozen Lego minifigure blind bags and me and my dad looked at each other and laughed our heads off. Dad told mum and then we walked back to the Target and dropped the toys off. Still today we always get a laugh out of that one. Not my kid but he is my nephew. He wanted to show me some cool stuff he had learned on the computer. Decrypted neighbor's Wi-Fi. Then remotely accessed her computer and fucked around with it. This kid is 13. He tuffed himself this by lurking shady forums. Since this is super illegal and super shady. I told his parents. They, and I, were a mix between livid. Scared and impressed AF. Kids are terrifying. My son has a friend whose younger brother in an evil genius. He ran an illegal candy selling racking in middle school, and may still do. For all I know. Comma he has bought a lot of nib lego sets and has stored them away for years later when they are hard to find. Kids parents are utterly clueless. When my older daughter was a preschooler. She wanted to take a flashlight off a shelf to play with it. She was told not to. So she got her stuffed animal and used the stuffed animal's arms to take it. Of course I had to yell at the stuffed animal and put her, the toy, in timeout. My daughter thought she had gotten away with it. My 4 years old son kept you asking us if he could have a sucker. We said only after dinner. He disappears upstairs to play and we are making dinner. Bedtime comes and he drops his Lego between the bed and the wall. Move bed to retrieve Lego. And not only do I find the wrapper for the sucker but also three other candy wrappers he stuck there. I quickly realized that I used to do something similar as a younger kid. Last summer my oldest son, then 12, was collecting and selling golf balls at the golf course. His cousins and younger brother helped collect a few of he balls. But he collected most and did 100% of the selling. His grandpa insisted that the profits be spilt evenly between all four kids even though my son protested explaining how he did most of the work. He later told me he kept an extra $30 without telling his grandpa because he was adamant he deserved more money than the other kids. 
I didn't approve of him being sneaky. But I did agree with his stance. Well. I'm an older sister. So. Not a parent. My younger brother used to be stalked by our neighbor's huskers. So. He couldn't get out to play in the big field behind our house. We own a bunch of sheep. Who managed to love the kid as if he himself was a little lamb. One day. He got the magnificent idea to get escorted by the sheep. When the huskies saw him and went nuts trying to chase him around. He lured them towards the sheep pen. Opened the door and both of them got tackled the fuck off out of sight by an angry ram. One of them even got a broken leg. I don't need to say our parents were horrified that the kid released an angry battering ram of sheep testosterone upon our neighbor's overexcited dogs. But damn. That was clever of him. My boyfriend sent me a text the other day that said I think our daughter is a klepto. He tells me that last week he took her to the auto parts store to get some stuff he needed. And our 2 and 1 stroke 2 year old daughter developed a fascination for some kind of tool with a long bendy neck and a mirror at the end. She kept trying to hide it from him. And he kept putting it back. Finally. She asks him if she can carry her diaper bag. So he gives it to her. Fast forward a week later. And he finds the thing in her bag. He said he didn't know if he should be proud or angry. Backstory. Years ago. Before we had her and got our lives straight. We were quite a shoplifting team. Comma we both. Of course. Had a talk with her about having to pay for things before you could take them home from the store. And. We will both be watching her a lot more closely from now on. Though. To be honest. It wouldn't have happened if she was with me. She's got her dad wrapped around her little finger. Close bracket. Not a parent but about 4 years back my then 7 year old cousin somehow managed to get into into my aunt's Facebook page despite her being logged out and him not knowing her password and proceeded to post on her wall in memory of my son Tom who died today. R.I.P. My aunt only found out after getting a message from one of her friends. Giving her condolences. Naturally she went absolutely mad over this. And was shouting at my cousin. While trying to delete the post and clarify to her FB friends that her son was not dead. Me my brother and my parents meanwhile found what he had done absolutely hilarious and were trying not to laugh. My cousin, now 11, is permanently banned from my aunt's phone and is not allowed any kind of social media until he turns 18. When my oldest, son, was about 3, now 6. 5. He we had him in a stroller as we were out for a long walk we stopped at a convenience store to get some drinks, middle of an Arizona summer's day so it's hot out, he asks for cookies and chips and we tell him no. Well after a few requests he stops and sits there pouting, arms crossed and all, we go to pay he's sitting there quiet we pay and continue on our walk about 2-3 minutes go by and we are loud did he fall asleep look over the canopy of the stroller as he is eating a cookie. He had stole a package of cookies opened them and was eating them without us even hearing him he was smart quiet and very clever in how he did it. About the age of 2 same son wanted to look through my mom's RV window from outside he set a brick down and stood on it to try to see and he proceeded to make a pyramid of bricks to try seeing in at this point my stepdad didn't want him to get hurt so he just picked him up and let him see in. My youngest, girl, 2. 5 really does not like our baby gate. He has taken running jumps into it to knock it from its grips on the wall figured out it hurt and put a pillow between her and the gate while doing it. She has also found out she could slowly unscrew a part of the gate and shift the extension on it so it still looks right but it was like a tall dog door. Yeah we fixed that as soon as we figured out how she was escaping her room. Now we have it at the edge of the hall and she's trying to use her potty stool to climb over it I don't think we will be able to use the gate for much longer lol. When she was one we had to set up a video camera to figure out how she was getting out of her crib. There was no fix for the crib problem so she got a normal bed. She started hiding under her bed to freak us out because we couldn't find her we solved that with a loft bed no more place to hide my kids are too smart for their own good. Not a parent but I was the clever kid. When I was 16 I was dating a girl and her mother hated me. She caught us fooling around in her basement and typed out a letter to my parents saying I wasn't allowed around her until I found Jesus. I'm Jewish. So instead of listening I doubled down. 
I started hanging out with my girlfriend's little sister and her younger brother all the time strengthening our relationship. Every time her mom had something bad to say about me my girlfriend and all her siblings lost their shit and would attack her. A few months later she texted me saying if I can't beat you. I have to join you. And invited me to an evening mass. Which I went to. The whole mass was in Latin. She cried. It was bizarre. Not my kid. But I used to babysit a kid who did not like to eat. He did like cookies. Though. One time. He was refusing to eat his lunch but he begged me for a cookie. I kept telling him no. He had to finish his lunch first. At some point. I said something along the lines of pizza needs to be all gone before you can get a cookie. He sat there for a moment. Thinking. And then he stood up. Grabbed his plate. And dumped the whole thing in the garbage. He turned to me and just shrugged. All gone. Double quote. I didn't even know how to respond. I may or may not have given him the cookie. I can't remember. But I learned I had to be more careful with how I phrased things. Kids are too smart. Not a parent but this was pretty genius. When I was in 4th grade we had to spend the last hour of school in another teacher's class to learn about science. My homie hated science and that teacher, uncontrollable gas not kidding. He reminded me every day that he was gonna ditch and he was always real whiny about it so I told him to just go. When the time comes to switch classrooms he is somehow nowhere to be found in the whole school of about 500 and the student body is freaking out cause they lost a 10 year old. Turns out he escaped by crawling through the main office, main office had a door that went directly out the school, where all the faculty happened to be. According to him climbing a fence was too hard and obvious. He noticed both doors in the main office were always open and the administrators couldn't see right over the desk so he decided to whip out his balls, figuratively, and army crawl the entire office. Closest I've ever seen to real life prison break and all to avoid one hour of science and a gassy teacher. We live in a duplex with a driveway on each side that are connected in the back. Our 3 year old was playing in his car on our side and we told him not to go past a certain point because we didn't want him going in the front yard where we couldn't see him. So instead. He goes back to the carport where the driveways connect. Goes down the neighbor's driveway and into the front that way. He never actually crossed the invisible line we created. So I couldn't get mad. But a new line was created soon after. My great grandmother was a non-nonsense woman. Who was not known for sparing the rod. If you get my drift. Although. She was also the most loving woman I have ever known. I. As a toddler. Went out into her garden and pulled up a set of those plastic little chickens following the big plastic chicken. I believe they are for scaring birds. She came outside. And yelled at me. That if I pulled up those chickens she was going to bust my butt. I replied. If you bust my butt, I am going to pull up your chickens. I guess she had never had that reaction and would recall it at every family gathering. To my chagrin. Damn. I miss that little old lady. When my son was about 3 or 4. He was going through a phase where he refused to sleep in his bedroom alone. It was a nightmare. I could not get this kid to fall asleep in his bedroom. It was a battle every single night. One afternoon on a weekend. He was messing around in his room and kept messing with the doorknob. I told him to stop. He'd keep keep messing with it. I finally snapped at him. If you don't stop messing with that doorknob. You're going to lock the door and mommy's going to have to call maintenance and that won't be any fun. About 5 minutes later he comes running down the hallway. And in that cute little baby voice. Oh oh mommy. I accidentally locked my bedroom door. Then he put his hands up in the air in the oh well motion and said. I guess I can't sleep in my bedroom tonight. Little shit. Lol. Not a parent but when I was 12 my parents thought I spent too much time on my computer so they put naughty safety kinder or whatever to limit my computer usage to 2 hours every day. They didn't start change the administrator rights on my account and after a week I found out that if I made a separate account on the computer. The time limit didn't sort work and I could play as much as I wanted. Just played 2 hours till it ran out. Waited for them to go to sleep. Snuck back into the basement. 
logged into the other account, and played games all night until they were gonna wake up and then got off. I thought that was pretty brilliant of my 12 year old self. While I was out at a rehearsal for some weird performance art shit. My kids. Then 14 and 11. Collected all the money and spare change off my dresser and in my bedroom and then the entire house and took the bus downtown and somehow managed to buy tickets to the Roger Waters Dark Side of the Moons concert. They called me at set break and were like. So yeah. We stole all your money and we saw at the Roger Waters concert. Just thought we should let you know in case you got home and freaked out cause we were in sot there. Go to go. Second side is starting now. Please th space. I was like. Well fuck me. Why didn't sot I do that? Not a parent. But evidently this is something my ex-husband did, as verified by his mom. Ex-husband was a precocious kid, and is now probably the smartest adult I know. He was in the principal's office one day, I forgot how he ended up there. And the secretary was setting the bell schedule for the next day's half day. Ex-husband asked her what she was doing. And she told him. He paid attention to how she did it. He thought it would be a good idea if they had a half day every day. So when the bell system was left unattended. He apparently set the schedule to shave a few minutes off each period. Making each day a little shorter than the one before. It took the school a little while, I don't recall how long, to figure out what was happening. And to correct it. From what I understand. They never did figure out it was him, this happened 30 years or so ago. Before security cameras ruined everything. He's a software engineer now. So he's clearly fulfilled his destiny. My middle child is lazy ninja. He stays in the basement and plays PS4. And stays out of the way. Meanwhile my two girls are constantly around. Leaving their crap everywhere. Asking for shit. And complaining when I ask them to help around the house. My son never complains. But the best part is he never leaves crap around. It is in his room or in the basement. And he keep both fairly neat. He has become an expert at out of sight out of mind. In the third grade. My son had not moved to advanced classes yet. And was just breezing through classes and work. He wasn't shy either and would keep yelling out the answers in class before the teacher could call on other students. The teacher decided to try to quell this by giving him three sticks. If he shouted out an answer when she didn't call on him. He had to surrender a stick. If he did it with no sticks left. He had to skip recess. The very first day she enacts this clever plan. She goes on teaching and asks a question and my son immediately pipes in with the answer. Proudly hands her a stick and says I get two more. Right? Double quote. My cousin was a bit of a wild child. His mother who was a widow was a bit of an iron lady. It was the immovable object and irresistible force kind of conflict. This was back in the day before cell phones when you had multiple phones in the house but only one line. He would be out and around the time of his curfew he would call home. When his mother would answer he would say I got it mom like he was home and just pick the phone before she did. She would then hang up and go to sleep and he would stay out all night. Pretty effing clever and ballsy. He died a couple years ago and we were swapping stories at his funeral. That one came up and his mother was floored. She had no idea. She is not the kind of lady who is easily duped. It made her laugh which was good. When I was potty training my youngest wild child she would often be home and be naked from the waist down. A very common potty training practice. She was obsessed with a little pup tent my mom gave her and played in her dragon cave frequently. One day. After preschool. She stripped down and was preparing to play. I got on her level and said. Child. Don't you pee on my floor. Understand? If you need to go. Go in the potty. Double quote. Child. Okay. 10 seconds later she comes running back to me. Child. Mama I pee peed in our tent. Double quote. Me. What? Oh no. Child. Why did you pee in the tent? Double quote. Child. Why not? My tent. Double quote. This actually just happened last night. 
My 6 year old daughter had YouTube taken off her tablet after I caught her watching a live at home birth. She is allowed 1 hour a night on her tablet. She came into my bedroom around 3 am. Huh? Mom. How do you spell Taylor Swift me? Why are you out of bed and what are you doing? Huh? I couldn't sleep. So I pushed the kitchen chair up to the fridge and grabbed my tablet. I downloaded YouTube back on again and I wanted to watch a music video. I wanted to be angry but this took a lot of follow through at 3am. Not a parent. I did this myself. I was about 11 years old and really wanted to watch a movie. Problem, movie has a in 14 sign on the bottom corner of the screen. My parents didn't let me watch movies not suited for my age. So I took some black electrical tape and taped it over. Then my dad came to watch the movie with me and it took about half an hour for him to notice tape. I think the commercial came on. Since we were in a dark room and the movie was dark. He was amused. But still didn't let me watch the movie. Greater than sign. Last night actually. My kid cursed someone out in an online game which results in an instant removal of internet privileges. About 2 hours later his older brother comes down and goes hey, Zerby's middle kid, is playing online. Isn't he supposed to be banned? Smirk because he got his younger brother in trouble. Check the router. Sure enough the PS4 is busy talking to Call of Duty servers. But. It's still showing blocked. WTF. Kid had figured out that he could just connect to the new Wi-Fi extender I installed that same day with the same Wi-Fi password. Smart kid. Naughty kid. But smart. Change the Wi-Fi extender password to solve that problem. For Christmas one year my then 18 month old nephew got a set of trucks. His 6 month old cousin got her hands on one and was playing contentedly. Nephew noticed. Stood over her for a moment and very deliberately dropped a different toy a few inches from niece. Who dropped the truck to pick up the new toy? Nephew snatched up the truck and scurried away. Niece realized she'd just lost her toy and gave him a sad look. Nephew hesitated. Slowly walked back towards her holding out the truck. And grabbed the new toy out of her hands and ran off with both toys. He's not great at sharing. But the boy does strategize quite well. My father tells these stories pretty frequently about me. I was a computer geek in high school. Loved pirating games music playing computer games. Hosting servers. Etc. My father was tired of me using all of the house's bandwidth so he set up some throttling stuff on the router or black hole some ports that I needed to use. So. I would turn on a man in the middle attack and kill the internet modem and ask him to log into the router to troubleshoot. He would log in and then I would get his password to reset all the settings I wanted. Another one but not nearly as cool. My father installed a porn filter on all computers in the house. Cyber Nanny I Ike that would filter internet based off of her English text dictionary. So, if you just google boobs or something, the filter would block the page. So once finding out how the software worked, I learned Spanish to get around around the filter. This is actually a story about my mom and my uncle that I was told repeatedly as a child, from grandparents and mom and her brothers. My grandmother was a terrible cook, can verify and often made liver and onions. My mom and my uncle Steve, the two oldest siblings out of four, hated liver and onions and would never eat it. On one such occasion, they were behaving badly and sent to another room with their dinner plates and the ketchup bottle. So they cut up their liver into tiny pieces and shoved it into the ketchup bottle. A week later my grandfather made himself a sandwich and went to put ketchup on it. My grandmother never made liver again. At my kid's school. They have a process to recognize achievements that the children make outside of school. So. The kid does something good, maybe gets a ballet certificate. Or wins a trophy in a sporting club, and they take evidence of this to the head of the junior school. The head listens to their story. Gives them big kudos. And the achievement is written up on a board. With all the others. My daughter is clearly thinking it's been too long since she's been able to get this kind of attention. So she looks around herself to see what she can turn into an achievement. She finds a number one dancer medal. Given to her at her recent birthday party. She is a terrible dancer. 
Nevertheless, she takes the medal to the head, who does the whole congratulations routine, and writes up the achievement on the board. She tells us none of this. One day, I'm walking past the board. I usually give it a quick scan to see if there's anything interesting on it. Well, unexpectedly seeing my child's name along with awarded number one dancer medal certainly fell into that category. I had a word with her about it. I told her that I was very proud of her for her problem solving. But that if she did it again, I would make her go to the head and explain the ruse. TL. DR. Daughter wants praise from school headmistress. Makes up achievement story relating to meaningless medal. Is successful. Gets busted by inquisitive father. My two. Five year daughter was in the second week of kindergarten. And not really adjusted yet, so some days she really wanted to go. Other days she didn't. Well. One morning I was lifting her upper body, from lying down to sitting, by her upper arms. Like normal. While dressing her. She cried out and said I hurt her arm. She held it really limp for 20 minutes. And cried tears if I tried to touch it. So naturally I got pretty worried I'd twisted something on accident. She refused to lift the arm or move it at all. Her mom came home from work and scheduled a doctor's appointment on the way. Cried when we put her in the car seat, had to put her arm through the seat belt. And when we took her out outside the doctor's. Her angry crying is different from hurt crying. So we knew she was in pain. We get in. And the doctor carefully touches and squeezes different parts of the arm. Does this hurt? No. How about this? Nope. Has her grab his fingers. Both arms. And flail them wildly around. Did that hurt? Nopes. Big smile. Dot. She conned us badly. And she didn't go to kindergarten that day. My older two were playing on the trampoline with the kids from next door. I was playing nearby with my youngest son and was keeping an eye on the kids. Neighbor boy does a trick and now everyone else has to do the trick. My oldest said he didn't want to do it because he didn't want to get hurt. My middle son, 6 years old, says. Stop acting like a girl. Neighbor girl took offense and told my son not to say that. My son sighs and says. Fine. Stop acting like a bitch then Gavin. Double quote. No idea where he pulled that one from. He's my only kid that appears to have a potty mouth and we don't even curse in the house. I thought it was pretty funny. But had to correct him while trying not to laugh. Not a parent but definitely helped raise my sisters since my mother and father both worked. I was 16 at the time and my sister was 10. And my other sister was 12. I was really sick and neither of my sister could use the stove. I told him they can have food only if it's microwavable or I'll make them whatever they want. I was so sick I was bedridden and wanted to watch movies but didn't have a TV in my room. I fell all seep and when I woke up I was in the living room with ramen noodles on the table and I had my sister under the blankets warming me up. My youngest sister said you were shaking so badly so we both carried you down here and we made you soup. Eat up so you be strong. I cried and then realized we live in a two-story house. How the hell did they get me downstairs? I am a 5 feet 2 girl and I weigh 90 pounds now. I have always been small. But I couldn't have been carried by them right? Anyways they also were not allowed to watch TV past 530pm but I let them that time. I love my sisters. I keep my 3 year old's Halloween candy on a very high coat hook in the entryway. The highest of hooks. Usually underneath her raincoat. It rained the other day. And she got a glimpse of that candy bag. While I stepped outside for mere moments. She got out the step ladder to reach it. But the ladder wasn't high enough. So she got her potty stool. Put it onto the bench adjacent to the hook. And reached her candy goal. When I found her. She was casually eating skittles and watching Sesame Street. She then offered me some skittles. I was so impressed. I couldn't be mad at her. When my daughter started high school she immediately started signing her own permission slips so she could wag when she got older and sign her own notes. Thing was she didn't even take advantage of it for several years. But set up the long con from the start. 
heard a ruckus down the hall and came in to see my younger son. Four at a time, standing over my older one. Six yo, like that famous Muhammad Ali picture. What's going on? Double quote. We were boxing. Zero o? Oh? Double quote. Comma older son, had a loose tooth and we were trying to get it out. Double quote. Older son gets up. Tooth is in the ground. Looks like it worked. Double quote. High fives all around. Turns out the tooth he knocked out wasn't the loose one they were after. But a different one. Oh well. Kid goes to kindergarten. But after a few months parents notice that the kid isn't not really getting any better at counting reading or anything really. Parents ask if they can watch the kid for a day. School hasn't sort got an issue. Turns out the school puts the kids in three groups, red, yellow and blue. Whilst two of the groups are doing lessons the third is always in the sandpit playing with minimal supervision, compared to those in lessons. Kid had worked out if at every changeover he went to the bathroom. He could wander in and go straight to the sandpit. No wonder the kid loved school. As far as he was concerned it was a place Hassad been able to play in the sandpit for two months. Parents moved the kid to another school. Sort of thought the teachers should have noticed. When my kid was eight. We were having some behavioral problems with her to put it mildly. Went to a therapist who talked to each of us individually. And figured out the root of the problems. She was playing us off at each other. Despite being only 8. She had our number. And was, unintentionally for the most part, winding her mother and I up over some minor thing. Then watching with glee as we fought over what she wanted us to fight over. The therapist suggested we try an experiment. The next time we caught ourselves being manipulated. We were supposed to lock ourselves in the bedroom and refuse to engage with our little hellion. Her reaction was at once disturbing and enlightening. She tried to bash down the door to the bedroom. Starting with the vacuum cleaner. And when that didn't work she went to the kitchen. Got the pizza cutter out of the drawer. And tried to saw her way into our bedroom in order to keep the fight going. My ex-wife decided that my son, 15, is no longer allowed to date this year. Despite the fact that it was never a problem before. This coincided with him starting to date a girl down the street whose parents hate my ex-wife. Though she claims that had nothing to do with it. She claims it is to ensure he gets good grades. Though he has yet to have a problem in that area as a AB student. Instead of sneaking out and around. Or getting mad. He went directly to the girl's father and offered to work for him in his shop. Guy runs a machine shop on his property. Cleaning up. Sweeping floors. Organizing. So he got his first part time job. Which his mother was okay with. And in turn gets 3 nights a week where he is working where he gets paid to go out with the daughter. It was sneaky and underhanded. And perfectly orchestrated between my son and this guy's daughter and I am extremely proud of him.